Hi guys, I'm Neelam Gill and this is my morning routine. I'm not gonna lie, I am not a morning person. I enjoy taking my time in the morning and having like a lazy routine. And part of that is one of my treatments I do once a week. I actually do a little foot treatment. I use this foot balm. I wear this sock just to like make sure my feet are really moisturized and I do that once a week. These socks actually cause a lot of discussion. Some people think this is geeky, but these these are things like if I'm shopping, I'm just attracted to and I, I can't ignore. My manager got them for me as a gift for my birthday a few years ago. And my apartment is like a shrine to Tupac. I'm obsessed with him. I grew up on his music, he's my idol. If I see something with him on it, I just buy it. So the first thing I do in the morning is I pray and I do this like every day when I pray, it sets my day on a good note and with the right intention. What I like to do is use my journal and I'm kind of like stationary obsessed. I have different notepads for different things. So I like to be organized. And then I also have separate pens for everything. <laughs> I'm a sensitive person. And if I go on my phone and I open social media, there's gonna be like, 99% chance I'm gonna see something that's gonna upset me and like start my day off and I'm, it's gonna make me feel sad or insecure. So I just think this puts things into perspective for me. After that, I usually check my phone. I think social media is great, but I also think it can be consuming. And I think it's unhealthy to process so much so early in the morning. And like I said, I'm a bit of a cranky morning person. So now it's time to start the day. The first thing I do in the bathroom is have a shower. So after I've moisturized my body, I use a lot of oils. Um, I wash my face. The first cleanser I use is from um, Dr. Abaji. It's for normal to dry skin and it's hydrating so it doesn't strip my skin. I like to let this foam up quite a lot. So this is a second cleanser I use. Um, this one's even more gentle. So the first thing I do after I cleanse my face is use this serum and this is a redness neutralizing serum. Sometimes if my skin's problematic, this helps even it out. After this, I like to use something a bit more hydrating on my skin. So right now I'm using Le Mer's gel based product and I'm liking this because it's not as rich as the cream and I just like press it into my skin. I get facials done at Sarah Chapman and she always teaches me that it's really important to not drag your face. So even when I cleanse, I try and cleanse in an upward motion. Lastly, I use this primer, which is from Laura Mercier. And I love this because it's oil free again. So now my skincare routine is done. I move into makeup and I like to use two different foundations depending on how my day's looking. I use one from Fenty Beauty and I use this one from Oxygenetics and it's the Acne Control Foundation. Today I only have meetings, so I try and let my skin breathe as much as possible. I'm gonna go for this today because I can have a bit of a down day for my skin. And again, I really like this product because it has salicylic acid in it. So if you have any spots, this actually helps um, heal your spots while you're wearing makeup. Because this um, foundation isn't very heavy coverage, I actually set certain areas straight away. And I'm using this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just powder over the areas that I want to last, basically. Now I move on to my concealer and I use this one from Fenty Beauty in sand. So I like use it, warm it up on my hand a little bit. I prefer to use a brush for this rather than my hands because I feel like my hand will just move the product around whereas a brush helps it sit a little bit better and I really like products from Fenty Beauty because the shade range is so good and this is something that's really important for me. I'm just going to set my under eye real quick. I like to use this product from Charlotte Tilbury, it's called Wonder Glow. So I just 
apply this kind of at the top of my cheekbone and then I use this bronzer from Tom Ford out of all these products I feel like concealer and bronzer are my favorites because conceal to hide anything I don't want people to see and bronzer I just think it injects a bit of life into the face next is highlight and I like this one from Becca I think this was to celebrate um Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding because it has this little crown in it and I love them together. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I like to do gel first and then fill them in. And this is the brow gel I use, it's from Blink. That's where I get my eyebrows threaded in London. I grew up in Coventry my whole life and my eyebrows were such a big part of my face and my culture. So I feel like, you know when men are loyal to their barber, I feel like women are loyal to our eyebrow lady. So after I've done that brow gel, I like to use a pencil and I use this one from Blink again and I just follow my natural brow shape. Um, I have a weird story, so I get laser hair removal and I remember once I was getting it lasered and she'd put the setting up and it was very painful and I literally jumped when she lasered here and it hit my eyebrow and I remember I cried. So my last step is lips. Um, but this is a lip liner I like to use. It's from NYX. I kind of line my lips a little bit scruffy as well. I'm not too perfect. And then I use this from NYX and it's a liquid suede cream lipstick and it's in the shade Soft Spoken. And after that, I like to use a gloss on top of it. The product I'm gonna use is from Dior and it's their Lip Glow Oil and I love this so much. And I've got it in Cherry Oil. So skincare and makeup is done. This is the most effort I would make um, on my days off. And now I can't forget perfume. I'm obsessed with scent. And I used Holy Peony from Dior. I'm actually running out. It's a nice daytime fragrance. It's really girly and light. So now I have to get changed and you cannot come with me. I like to start my day with green tea every morning. I'm actually addicted to it. I probably have like two, three cups a day. Even if I'm running late, I can't, I'm not one of those people who can just start my day on an empty stomach. So I like to have a pretty big meal. Today I'll have like toast with avocado and eggs. I love to read and I try and read like pretty much any minute I get. I normally read this book, The Daily Stoic. There's a different message every single day. Let me just check today's date. <laughs> We don't need to get lost in a thousand other distractions or in other people's business. Which is something that I think a lot of people could live by. <laughs> I love the feeling of like opening a book and getting a new book and the smell and all that stuff. And I even love like my bookmark. I know it's just a bookmark, but it's like one of my most special gifts. We are stardust meant to shine. But you know, if someone gets that for you, you're just like, oh my God. Okay, so it's time for me to leave. I hope you guys have enjoyed getting ready with me, but now you have to go. So bye. <laughs>